This right here is a 2016 Jaguar F-Type and we're going to review it today. And onto the side of the car, you got some nice vents on the side right here. Obviously, a vented hood. Foldable mirrors once it unlock and unlock or lock. Pretty neat. Moving to the back, we got some 20 inch rims. Onto the back of the car, nice sleek look. Tail lights, adjustable wing. Amazing, adds an extra aggressive, aggressive look dual exhaust which sound amazing and under the hood we have a 3.0 V6 supercharged which produces 340 horsepower all right we're gonna move on to the front of the vehicle some nice biofunction HID headlights made by Jaguar I guess they put it in there Trademark. Nice daytime and the running lights right here too. Very well put. Onto the grill. Nice Jaguar up front. Very small, which kind of looks like an Austin Martin, I can't even lie. The car. A nice button for you to have it open automatically. And when you do need to close it, you're gonna press that and it'll close right back down. Pretty spacious trunk. Not as big as you would expect but we'll do the job for whatever you need. Fits a baby stroller if you have a baby. Other equipment, there's still more space even though we got the baby stroller. Also, if you're running low on tire, pressure or air, they got a kit for you right in the back which you could air up your tires if you need to. Also, windshield wiper fluid right at the back if it needs filling. And usual stuff in the back, I guess. We'll need to remove these, just to show you. Move some si stuff aside, just so we can get a little deeper inside. Obviously we got a tow hook right here. And let's see what we got other here. Obviously this is for more space if you need it. A battery to distribute the weight between the car. And that's it. You got some equipment on the side if you need it. All right. We'll head inside the Jaguar. In case you didn't know how to get inside the Jaguar without a key, well, you do have to have it in your pocket, of course. All you do is you gotta press the button, door pops up, and there you go. Inside we got some nice red stitching on those sports seats, leather steering wheel, a nice shifter. We also got vents that pop out once you turn on the AC or heat up in the center dashboard. For the side of the door panel, nice red stitching along here, just like the seats. Many seating options. This right here, if you want to see an example, this will hug your seat and give you more support if you're going to be driving it, I guess, in the track or the sports mode. Right here, tied to your seat. If you need any back support, three memory seats on a Jaguar. All right, start it off. Sounds beautiful. Of course, we are on the air comfort. We're on the dynamic mode right now. Feature, we have it on right now. This right here turns on the exhaust. Let's see how it sounds. just like on here you got all those seating functions storage wise right here we got a nice glove box with its manual and a few stu other stuff that you need to put in not so bad on space right here on the seat obviously you got your USB cables aux cords 
useful stuff come in. We already got one. Over here, of course, your cup holders. Once you get inside the car, it's pretty tight. You can't lie, I'm not even that tall. 5'11's alright. Imagine if you're bigger than me, it's pretty tight for your feet. You can't stretch them all the way. If you do try to push your chair all the way back, it will do this. It will push you right back up because you're getting too close to the back, I guess. As you can see, speakers back there. Some more storage room up here. Headroom is decent. You could lower your chair if needed. And of course, we got the moonroof. It gives you an amazing view. Yeah, and other things we got here. Heated seats. And cool and ventilated seats right here, too. You decide which one you like. Of course, the ventilation comes right out. Looks very sleek, design's nice. Move on to the other features. Obviously that's traction control. This right here makes the exhaust louder for us. This of course, when you're stopped at a red light, if you have it on, the car shuts off and on. We don't need that right now. Parking brake, eh, whatever. Dynamic mode. Nice red look, makes it look very mean. Other modes include the rain, ice and snow mode. We don't need that, we just finished our winter. All right, how about we get on the road now and see how it drives. mode instant response you give it and it goes on the and that was with the paddle shifters I'm not sure if I mentioned it 8 speed automatic paddle shifter triptronic and then it goes yeah fun little car daily drive if you got the money I'm pretty sure these go up from 44,000 to 66,000 dollars you got the money grab it it's a very nice car this car is lowered than usual so we gotta be a little more careful on the bumps but yeah in conclusion great car didn't go over this properly but home feature you can set all that right away climate controls if you don't feel like using the buttons here parking assist if needed this shuts off the screen quick access to music let's just make this turn right over here different phones if you need to connect your phones and back to navigation yeah a little bit delayed but 